Welcome to Guys Talk Knives. This is episode number 165 right here in the studio at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. And TC, this is the last show of 2020. It is. Can you it believe is. it? It's crazy. I like how I can just bring it, this it, mic to me right <laughs> here. Bring it on in. Just bring it on in. Just lay back. Bring it on in for the real thing, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, so, 2020, been a crazy year. It has. Um, what stands out to you just of any of this <laughs> m- craziness that has happened in this year? I know uh, I'm putting you on the spot, but we're going we're gonna to roll with this. We have uh, discovered, I think, mentally what we can handle. I, I think you're about there. I think that's about true. Um, I, I think uh, we have we have come to a point to where uh, we realize now that we are mentally a resilient race of human beings. Um, it's it, it's difficult um, for sure. That got really heavy. I don't know. Why, <laughs> I don't know why so, I took it so that heavy. But let me let me figure out. Tell you what I figured out from 2020 is that I can basically live in my house and stay in my house indefinitely and not miss <laughs> the outdoors whatsoever. <laughs> uh, as long as I got the cat and the wife beside me, we're good right. and and solid. I mean, it's just trips to the grocery store at that point. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, the the number of days that you can wear sweatpants in a <laughs> row, I'm going to tell you, it's about eight. Yeah. Uh, well, and see, as far as all that goes, like during act, like the main part of quarantine. Mm-hmm. Um, so my partner and I, Liz, uh, we bought a house last year, mm-hmm. and um, it needed a lot of large projects done. Right. So that quarantine allowed us time when we normally wouldn't. It would have. It would have probably taken us right. all year. Right. Right. And. Because of quarantine, we were able to get all of it done in a matter of like a month and a half. Nice. And it was fantastic. And it allowed us to grow together and bond over something that we did <laughs> not have any experience doing. Which, right. And we didn't kill each other, which is fantastic. Hey, we almost got divorced trying to hang border. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst hour and a half of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and we got about eight feet. That was about it. <laughs> Guess, guess guess how much border got hung in that living room? Zero. Z- that border was <laughs> thrown away, and we never discussed it again. And that was twenty five years ago. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, twenty twenty is almost over, guys. Yes, this is the very last show of twenty twenty. It is a pre recorded social. We are trying to live chat with you. Um, you know that always depends on who calls. Usually, I get a call from Kevin Pipes right in the middle of the show, and so Melina tries to hang on and do both, and and all kinds of crazy stuff happens. But we're trying right now to live chat through this show. Remember, we have five great items to get through today, and uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into these just one by one. Um, I always like when there's murmuring off to the side in the background. It's Isaac. Rhubarb, 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 rhubarb. That's the mutinous crowd noise. Rhubarb. All of us say rhubarb at the same time. Ready? Rhubarb, 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 rhubarb. See? Mutinous crowd right there. It's happening. Last week I showed you guys the mini version of the knife I want to show you today. And I want to show you these because we still have a bunch of these exclusives. This is the full size Arkeo. Uh, from Artisan, it is a uh, Dylan Mallory design, and this is the large version of this knife. Um, it's all the same features that you saw on this. This is the copper-handled version. Again, that will patina all the way out, D2 on the blades, all kinds of good stuff with this knife. But you can see that uh, compared to the knife I showed you guys last week, this is a full-size knife, and this knife is still on sale right now for $40.99. Let's take a look at it up close, and I'll tell you all the details that are in this knife. So you're looking at the Artisan Cutlery Arkeo. This is the large version, the copper version of this knife as well. That is 3.9 inches of D2. That is a drop point blade, and it is 0.15 inches thick. So it's nice and thick on this particular knife. Manual flipper, ceramic ball bearings like you're going to find in almost every Artisan that is out there. It is a liner lock with steel liners, and those, yes, are solid copper handles. Uh, You have the tip-up ambidextrous pocket clip that is right there. And then on these knives, what I love is that little hidden lanyard hole that is right here in the back. You're talking about a knife that closes down to 5 inches. I love how sleek this knife is for as big as it is. That's the front. There is the back of the knife right there. I don't know what TC Snickering had over to the side, but I can see it. It's a bigoted knife. Yeah. 
A bigoted knife? It, it what? It, that's what it sounded like you said when you, when, you, for as, <laughs> when you said as big as it is. It sounded <laughs> like you said it, as bigoted as it is. It is. It's against the uh, bronze and brass versions. <laughs> this is a totally bigoted Arkeo right here. It is 8.9 inches overall and weighs in at 6.6 ounces. Again, on sale for $40.99 at smkw.com right now. <laughs> I, I have bigoted. to comment nonsense. It's a bigoted knife. <laughs> There's no room for that uh, in today's society. No, there is not. <laughs> Everybody, all knives matter. <laughs> You're right. You are absolutely right. <laughs> Bronze, brass, copper. I love these knives. I Can mean, we all just cut together. <sighs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. Oh, goodness gracious. What do you think of the big version versus the little version, TC? I like it. I, I like the big version. Uh, TC likes better. everything big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Isaac weighs in fast. Yes. <laughs> you know, um, I, I got to compensate somehow. So, um, <clears throat> no, I think it's, I think it's fantastic. Um, I, I, I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love copper anyways. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's got that whole like steampunk vibe to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's one of my favorite finishes, even though I don't actually currently have one uh, with me. Um, <laughs> it's at home. But, uh, you mean I do you didn't bring it in that huge knife roll you walk around with? <laughs> no, because I ran out of room in my knife roll, okay? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> Isaac's on it today. Don't you judge me. Don't you judge me. You know what's nice about these too? It's just like the knife slips. You can laser etch those. <laughs> <laughs> Do we really want to bring that? You know what? This is the taped version, so it we don't right. have to, we, we don't, don't have to worry about it. They're going to talk about knife slips for the next twenty minutes, and it'll be fine. Y'all have fun <laughs> with that in the comments on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you can laser etch these, so you could let this patina up, and then once you laser etch it, you're going to get some deep dark lines in it, or you can go the opposite way around. You can then polish off. You can keep it polished and do laser etching on all of these handles, and I mean, make it your own. Forty dollars and ninety nine cents. You can't beat that. Shipwreck it. You could. Yeah. Do all kinds of fun patina on this thing. The funky cold patina. <laughs> 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 See, the Gen X people in the room just laughed. <laughs> <laughs> the millennial and the Z just went, what? <laughs> 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 Little tone loke for you there, boys <laughs> and girls. Okay. I, I think it opens really easy, too. Like I think it was very smooth compared yeah. to some of the other. So I've. You know, I think that's what I've noticed about the Dylan Mallory designs is they are super easy to flip. They're sleek, they're long, they're balanced just right. But Isaac, you are absolutely right about yeah. that. Yeah, for sure. I like the substantial weight on it, and I love the price. The price you know, is fantastic for what it is. You know what you didn't get me today, Isaac? One of those. <laughs> <laughs> Besides that, I don't have any paper to cut. Oh, God. What are we doing? <laughs> That's the number one thing people come to watch. Get on <laughs> your game. One of these days, we're just going to have... I'm, I know you guys are working on some torture test stuff to do, but we're going to have, like, at this table, like, I don't know, the way a cow has a lick. It's just going to be, like, some kind of thing I can just <laughs> carve on right there in the middle of it besides paper. Because they're always like, well, paper doesn't prove anything. Well, it kind of shows... I think it proves a lot, actually. It shows just how sharp it is right away. I mean, just how sharp it is out of the box. Now, potential for how it would hold up over time, it really doesn't show, but it does show its yeah. uh, edge sharpness coming out of the box. Yeah, so that's nice and sharp. $40.99 at smkw.com. That is the large version of the Copper Arkeo from Artisan. What's up next, boys and girls? Oh, it is beyond EDC. So this is what you get after bed and bath. That's right. <laughs> Be it bed, bath, and beyond EDC. This is the Sunder. This is another import knife. This is another knife that's $44.99. It is a flipper. It's got that fancy cleaver, worn cliffy, sheep's footy looking thing on it. Um, I kind of dig this brand. I think they're doing everything right. It reminds me of Artisan when it first came out. This Sunder is a good size knife that feels really good in hand. That kind of almost has a crown spine. Hmm, did not notice that before yes. just right now. That's kind of cool. Let's look at it, and I'll tell you about it right here. So you're talking about a, uh, a knife that is 3.4 inches of D2 cleaver blade, almost a um, sheep's foot right there. Stonewash finish, 0.15 inches thick. Look at that crown spine, nice and smooth around the edges right there. Manual flipper with ball bearings. 
Uh, G10 handles over steel liners with a liner lock right there. Amber de- Amber Dexter's. Amber Dexter's. <laughs> it's got an Amber Dexter's tip up pocket clip. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to go up or uh, uh, right of your lefty oh. right there. And then you got you a lanyard hole. Hey, look, there has a filler plate on that side right there. Filler plate. Talk about my lanyard hole like that. Uh, we just went full Alabama right into the middle of this show right there. 4.8 inches closed, 8.1 inches overall. Nice and smooth and slippy right there. 8.1 inches overall, weighs in at 5 ounces. Forty four ninety nine for the Beyond EDC Sunder. This is the black version. I think there are a couple other versions out there on the site, and I think I put that link into the caption of this video. So uh, check that out at smkw.com right there. Forty four ninety nine. Is this a, is this a coworker knife? Is this a knife you buy your coworker? Yeah. Yeah. D two steel. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Absolutely. Forty four ninety nine. I'm like you. I, I they're. I, I think they're doing everything right. Mm-hmm. Um, and. I'm really excited to see where they're going to go uh, because I love what they're putting out. So I think this is a trend across the board. Uh, we're seeing more imported knives that are higher quality at lower prices, and we're seeing some of the bigger brands, um, you know, add additional uh, brands like Artisan adds CJRB. Right. Uh, we add Civivi, and now Civivi's got an, they've got another brand that's coming below that that we don't quite have yet, but I'm sure we ha- will have them when they come into stock. Right. I think that's a cool trend right there, especially if you're new to knives. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to miss 50 bucks for this. Hell, you're not going to miss 45 bucks for this. And it's going to be something fun to play with. And I love that, that crowned edge on the back. Um, that's actually something uh, one of the guys in our a uh, custom shop showed me this morning. We were uh, out there looking on the sales floor, and um, that's a really cool, like finishing touch on that that not a lot of people do. Could you use that as a Skinner TC? I mean, I'm not into that, and I know you've done a little bit of hunting. I you mean, could, yeah, just because of its. <clears throat> I um yeah yeah you definitely could. I I typically like a little bit thinner blade. It's mm-hmm. a little substantial. That's true. Um, but I mean, it it would work as a Skinner. Yeah, nice. Cool. Forty four ninety nine at smkw.com. That is the Beyond EDC Sunder. Let's jump into number three. This one, TC loves. I know oh, he yeah. Does. It is the Kaiser Doman Mini in blue. I think this is just a total no-nonsense everyday carry knife from Kaiser uh, in a good steal at a great price. Fifty-five bucks on this thing, but... Um, I say no nonsense because there aren't any sweeping curves on it. The uh, thumb studs do work, but they also lock up there against the handle. Uh, that makes the blade just a little bit more sturdy. It's a liner lock. Ooh, boo. Oh. I know. I did it twice, and the third time was not the charm. Let's take a look at it up close and personal. I'll tell you about it. <coughs> As I cough my guts out just before we go. <coughs> and everybody's got the <coughs> crud. <coughs> We do not have the Rona. <laughs> do not pass the Rona. 2.9 inch N690 drop point blade with a stone wash finish. It is 0.1 inches thick, so under an eighth of an inch thick. It is a thumb stud opener with dual thumb studs or ambidextrous thumb studs, if you like to call it that, right there. Uh, blue G10 handles. That's a pretty blue. Um, and those sit on top of stainless steel liners. Liner lock on this knife. Ambidextrous tip up pocket clip on this thing. And I love this blue backspacer right here that makes a very large uh, lanyard hole on the back of the knife itself. Four inches closed on the Mini Doman. So nice and small ride in your pocket. There is the front. There is the back right there. Again, with the thumb stud, you can flick that thing right open. And it is 6.9 inches overall and weighs just 2.9 ounces. Now, the thing that I notice, TC, when I look at this knife is that... um, that blade is wider than you would think. Yes. On a knife that size. Yes, it is. Um, it's it's a substantial blade for for the size of knife that it is. Mm-hmm. We we covered this one. We did a video with this one a while back, didn't we, Isaac? Yeah, on uh, three affordable. Yes. Name, name brand knives. Yeah. Right. yeah. So um, yeah, fifty five bucks. Yeah, fifty five bucks, and I mean it's what D two in six ninety in six ninety yeah. So you're you're talking about uh, similar to VG10, right? And I mean, it's one of those that for me it feels very um, 
uh, fidget spinner knife. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a very fidget friendly. knife. I would say I would even go as far as to say is if that you um, if you wanted to learn to use a thumb stud. Yes, a Doman Mini might be the way to go. Absolutely, because it's not too hard to move, but it is not um, super easy. Right. So you're going to learn to flip with a thumb stud on this. So Isaac, this is your knife right here, my friend. <laughs> I just need a shirt that says I don't know how to use a thumb stud. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even thumb stud, bro? <laughs> uh, it's a it's a nice little knife, and because of its uh, uh, thickness, it is probably nice and slicey as well. Oh yeah. yeah. Yes, I I like the flat grind on that. Um, it's it's just like you said, it's basic, but at the same time, classy. Mm-hmm. It just it works. Yeah, fifty five bucks at smkw.com. Uh, several different colors in the uh, Doman Mini. I think black. Uh, pretty sure green. Not yeah. positive on all of those, but go check them out. I think there's an orange one too. Oh yeah, there may be. I think there is. Nice. I could be wrong. Um, these have been good hot sellers for us this year. So go check them out at smkw.com. Pick one up uh, for Christmas. Still got a little bit of time left. Okay, let's see. What else? Number four knife on the list. A brand that uh, I know that you guys were surprised to see, that at least Isaac was, um, a brand that has a name that wants you to say Rike every time. It is not. It is R-U-I-K-E. It's called Rake. And uh, this is another modern flipper right here uh, and i love the looks of this knife all of that stainless steel uh the blue accents on the thumb studs and on the collar pivot uh and on that uh pocket clip right there really to me make this knife it's nice and easy to flip i think for the price point of 29.95 you cannot beat the p801 sf now you know a knife is budget friendly i'm going to go down here you know a knife is budget friendly when it gets just a number name right it, it's either it's either high end bench made or it's just a, a, a budget friendly knife. Twenty nine ninety five on this Rake uh, P eight oh one. It has a three point four inch fourteen C twenty eight in Sandvik steel drop point blade. Uh, that is a stone wash finish and it is point one two inches thick. Uh, it is a manual flipper, but it does have ambidextrous thumb studs and look how the, nice and blue those are. Really pretty, right there. I like the pivot color is blue as well, uh, and the handles are. Uh, stainless steel as well it is a frame lock this is not even a liner lock right here guys it does have the tip up pocket clip which is removable but not reversible and you've got the nice lanyard hole through the center of that back of that knife right there Uh, when you close it down you're talking about a knife that is 4.5 inches closed that is the front there is the back right there and then when you open this thing up it is 7.9 inches overall and I don't even have a weight on it, but I'm going to guess it's around three three ounces, three or four ounces, because that's what it feels like in my hand, especially with the stainless steel handles on it. The kicker is twenty nine ninety five, twenty nine ninety five for this Rake P eight oh one SF, and it's got a great feel for that price. Uh, it, it, I mean, it, the action is excellent. I haven't tried the thumb stud fantastic. at all. Well, the thumb stud works yeah. as well. I was able to use that one. <laughs> There's the, uh, the <laughs> there's that. <laughs> <laughs> That's its uh, That's slam to fame right there. If if Isaac can use the thumb stud on that one, then it is golden. That's, it, that's actually the one I was bragging about the most when we were looking at it. Yeah, yeah. I you know twenty nine ninety five. Is it slicey too? Let's see. Let's 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 take a little. Twenty nine ninety five. Wow, Came that's that impressive. Sharp. Uh, it is an under underrated, underscored brand, and we don't have a lot of knives because every time we have them in, they sell right out. Uh, but this one is still available, twenty nine ninety five at smkw.com. <laughs> Did we have something fall? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's just make the, the weirdest noises we possibly can and then look confused at this what's like, going on. Let's all look right up there. <laughs> Run, Marty, it's the terrorists. They're after me. <laughs> <laughs> Run, Void, Marty! <laughs> we just have to get the flux capacitor up to 88 <clears throat> miles per hour. Okay, Rake. Great brand. Twenty nine ninety five smkw.com. I don't know what else to tell you about it other than it's pretty. It's uh, budget, very budget friendly. Would make a great gift for somebody. And those are available on smkw.com right now. I mean... 
other than that, what else you got? I mean, it, it, it's got that designer look to it. Yeah, it does. It has a great look. I mean, it's surprisingly a good look with a frame lock um, at twenty nine ninety five. That's just hard to believe. Ping! I dig it. I dig it the most. <laughs> Are you ready for our last knife of the day? It's a hooligan. I'm ready for a hooligan. Hooligan. I've been called that many times. Uh, so I actually looked up the word hooligan uh, for something that I was writing here recently. And uh, a hooligan is normally a young man looking to get in trouble, <laughs> most often part of a gang. <coughs> <laughs> I was not that. No. So does this knife scream that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I like that it's like got the you know the three finger choils right there, so you can <laughs> finger grooves in the knife. How was it, that again? <laughs> <laughs> it gets nice and stout. Um, it is just a thumb stud over. It's not a flipper, but the thumb thuds work. Thumb thuds. The <laughs> thumb thuds work perfectly. Uh, I think it's fun. Uh, the micarta is beautiful on this knife. Savivi hooligan in my hand. Um, uh, since nobody else is talking, I'm going to show it to you up close and personal. <laughs> we'll try to talk about it on the other side. <clears throat> so that is a three inch D2 drop point blade with a satin finish. Um, I really like it. You're talking about 0. 0.12 inches thick on this with dual thumb studs. So this is an ambidextrous opener. It is not a flipper, as we said. Does have bronze washer pivots. Um, and then that is what they call their snakeskin micarta handles. If you kind of look at that, it looks more like scales than it does like burlap or linen or canvas. It's kind of almost got like a scale feel to it. And this is not super smooth. It's got a little bit of tack to it. It's got a little bit of touch feel to it and feels really good. Um, it is an ambidextrous tip-up pocket clip with the liner lock and the stainless steel liners. When you close this thing down, it is four inches closed. There's the front. There's the back right there. And then it is seven inches. Boo. I knew I was going to do it down here. could see what I was doing. <laughs> there we go. Seven inches overall and weighs in at 3.2 ounces. But that, that really doesn't even feel like 3.2 ounces to me. You're coming out a $54 knife at smkw.com. <coughs> is it a hooligan? What do you think? Favorite knife on the show today. Really? Yeah. Without a doubt. Really? I looked at that one this morning, and uh, yeah, I, I love that. I what love do you that. like about it? I love the blade shape. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's just really pretty. I love that grind. I think it catches light really good. I love the handles. I love the design. It fits great in my hand personally, and uh, yeah, I, I love everything about that one. It is a big knife for such a small knife. Yeah, yes, yeah. It's a big little knife. It it's is a, a big little knife with attitude. It's a hooligan. <laughs> You're such a big little knife. Come here, big little knife. <laughs> <laughs> such a big boy. <laughs> I like that it's also kind of no nonsense. It's just thumb yeah. studs. There's no flipper to it. Um, they work well. You can either slow roll it out like so, or you can flick it. Let me see if I can get the flick to happen again. Maybe do it on. Mm, there it is. Sometimes you just have to find that right spot for it. I like the I like the handles. I like that it feels um, not super smooth. I like that it feels tacky in the hand. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's definitely my favorite knife on the show. And the handles feel great. They're not too smooth. They're not too rough either. And uh, that blade grind is is beautiful. That's pretty nice, dude. I'm getting better at this paper cutting thing. I just want you all to note that by the end of 2020, I have gotten better at the paper cutting. We need to put that in my file <laughs> with a gold star. <laughs> paper cutting has been uh, advanced. That's nice. <laughs> 54 bucks at smkw.com. Any other th anybody else want to talk about anything else? Um, so, so we know that's TC's favorite knife. Isaac, yes. what was your favorite knife on the show today? <laughs> the thirty dollar one, <laughs> the right, the rake, the rake, uh, yes, the P eight zero one. So this one is Isaac's favorite. Melina, what is your favorite knife on the show today? Isaac took mine. <laughs> Did he, so you like that hooligan as well? No, I like. I said Isaac. Oh, took Isaac rake. took your rake. I like the rake, hmm. but the Kaiser's good too. Nice. Like so you like the mini doman? Yeah. 
Mini Doman in blue. I'm going to stick with Dylan Mallory and that big old RKO right there, which leaves the, um, you know, beyond EDC Thunder out there in the open. But I, to me, that's just a heck of a knife, a nice gift, especially for a $40. This item. was, uh, for me, this was a really great show. I, I liked everything on it, but my favorite was the, the Civivi. The hooligan. Hooligan. I relate to that anyways. <laughs> I resemble that remark. I, I, I do think that one's the most attractive knife. It is pretty. Yeah. That is for sure. It is a pretty, pretty knife. And um, I think when I look at the knives that we've uh, that TC has picked so far, I'm getting a gooder. A gooder. A gooder. I'm getting there a go. better eye for what he likes. And, in fact, if it doesn't have the flipper, I think he likes it better. Am I wrong? You know, I, I usually do like flippers, but I prefer thumb studs. Okay. Yeah. I've noticed that. The, the, the thumb studs is where you have it on yeah. these different things. Um, guys, we are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. Um, this is the last show of 2020. So here's what you need to do since we're going to go on a little bit of hiatus from uh, being on here in just a couple of weeks. We'll be back. Um, enjoy your Christmas. Enjoy your time out there. Keep up with us on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. Make sure you're subscribing to the YouTube channel. Uh, of course, ring that notification bell or smash it. Smash that thumbs smash up. Smash it. Button. Smash it, as TC likes to tell us, so that when we do come back on the air, you guys know what's out there. We'll have a couple of uh, uh, special presentations maybe as we move through the end of the year. But this is the last Guys Talk Knives of 2020. Uh, Isaac, is there anything you want to say to anybody as we roll out of this show? Just uh, keep watching. <laughs> TC, we got some awesome stuff. Yes, we do. Coming up. Nice. Melina, anything you want to say by the end of the 2020? No. <laughs> Not a thing. Yeah. Guys, thanks for watching all year long. It's hard to believe we're already up to 165 episodes of these things. That is kind of crazy. We appreciate all your business at Smoky Mountain Life Works. We appreciate you tuning in each and every single week. Take care. Have a great Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we will catch you next time with episode live on a Tuesday, episode 166 of Guys Talk Knives. We'll see you then. <laughs>